this is This week on Sportsman TV, two words, Coon Commanders. Come on, go with us. Well, you know what? That's where I roll, dude. <laughs> <laughs> you know we fish do look good. Huh? We this this is honestly this is the first time in 30 years I've been coon hunting, and we are blessed tonight. We got the coon commanders with us, so we not only are we coon hunting, like we coon hunting at as high as you can get. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We ready to do it. Which way we could? Oh, just we go. We're gonna go south. I mean, he sounds good, doesn't he? Rooster going to him. Right. 140. He's still surfing. I mean, it didn't take long. They ain't left. <laughs> I mean, you wouldn't expect any less out of the coon commander, would you? I mean, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> huh? That's just the way it is when you roll with the coon commander. You know what I'm saying? That's just. You see him look like? Yeah, that's him. Yeah, that's him. I see. Wait, you own him, Jack? Alright. <laughs> Roost. Pretty good, huh? That was a good start. That was a great start. That was what we, we turned loose for 10 minutes. It only took 10 minutes. <laughs> I said I cut loose at, at uh, 4 after 7, and it's 7.15. Good job, son. Coon come out of outdoors, baby. Dead coon. You tune in with Dead. Louisiana Dead. Sportsman Dead. TV. Dead coon. With Dead. Greg Hack. Get her. Get her. Ah, ah. Get her. Okay. There you go, boy. Well, yeah, we uh, man, we go often as we can. I know he works a lot, so I try to at least go at least three or four times a week, whenever she let me go. <laughs> but uh, like I say, we've been training the puppy. We we started them from puppies, man, at five weeks old, and they're just two two years old now, and this where we at. I mean, we we rolling big time. We high rolling right now. This I don't even I don't even know if you can consider this working. This may be way too much entertainment going on right now. They show enough tree now. I'm just gonna tell you. I, I like it that they they bark on the trail. You know, almost like you're running deer or something. Because there could be another one in that other tree. I bet there's another. One. Well, there's a coon in this tree, but you know, the thing about it is, you know, coon ain't like a squirrel. He didn't go over into this tree, so chances are there's still a, a, another one in the tree that they're treed on. There's one in this tree right here, but chances are the one they treed is in this tree. Yeah, right there. They've got the light on him right there now. 
Team right there. Give me a second, guys. I right, keep Try my head on the coon. Okay, I'm ready when y'all are. Shoot at his head, Luke. Like, hold right below his jaw. Don't shoot at the top of his head. Hold right at the... Right there. Shoot, they got out there pretty fast. Uh, they went about 350 real quick. Got treed, uh, worked around these hills. And... I'm just gonna take it now. They make it look easy. I see meat, baby! Meat on the limb! <laughs> uh, it seems like they still got a little a little bite in them, you know, when they when they hit the ground, the dog is working that bite out of them. Maybe a little on the tough side. Coon's a tough animal. I mean, ain't no doubt about that. Yeah, they're treating that. <laughs> uh, another hunter done rotated into the bunch. Huh? I said, yep. This a coon over there? No. 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 I'm looking at one though. They see another one, I, but they're looking for one in that tree. But I think he spied another one in another tree. Though. Yeah, I know that tree's so big. I, I thought one time I caught a little glimpse of his glare of his eye, straight up the. There he is, right there. There he is, right there. Good boy, rooster. Good boy, rooster. Oh, yeah, he's gonna get whacked. Good boy, rooster. That's a big coon. Uh, he must weigh 15 pounds, 15, 18 pounds. Good one. Good Nice. <laughs> when you cut them loose, they take off down through the woods. First dog bark. That's what you we call striking him in. So he that means he's working the track, his nose down to the ground, and he's smelling, checking trees, you know, making sure that the coon didn't tap a tree. And what we mean by tap a tree is, majority of the times, coons, the way they run, they'll either stand up on the tree and throw their scent on the tree, or they'll do like a cat. You know how a cat does when he walks by you and brush his tail up against you. That's how mainly a coon does. They just run the tree, you know, try to throw the dogs off and pick a nice tree and go up. After that happens, they locate. Once he locate, you can tell when he's looking up because it'll be a long, ah, like that's locating right there. But he's not sure yet. But they just basically, you know, check, 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 check until they sure they got him. It looked like a vine went up there. I never could tell which one it touched. That one I, I was shaking broke right there. That's what it's good. Eat him again. There you go. It's year round in Louisiana. Uh, now, we don't kill them in the summertime because, I mean, back home, we, you know, I feed the community and stuff. I give away coons all the time. But summertime, you can't harvest them because of, you know, the worms, et cetera, and stuff like that. And plus, around this time of year, they're rutting. And we just, you know, try to let them breed and produce more coons, you know, in the woods. Like, um, in our hometown, you know, we have people who, who call, have coons coming um, to their backyard, eating their cat food, dog food, and stuff. and catch them and, you know, stock our spots up and stuff, you know, it's anything sweet particular. They like anything sweet between peanut butter, chocolate, I mean anything sweet. They pretty much eat anything, but to trigger them and keep the possums and all of the other foreign animals away, you know, we just bait it up with something sweet because 
possums and stuff don't too much like sweet and yeah. stuff. So. Big old fruit. Yeah. You got it, son. You got it, boy. I tree with him. Get on it, son. Big two. Is that the one you saw? How you loving that, Mr. Gray? <laughs> Mr. Gray, you know what we got in that tree right there? It looks like meat to me. We got meat in the fork right there, Mr. Gray. Meat Already in, in the fork. Meat That's what in I'm talking about. Fork. Fresh and hot. Fresh and hot, baby. Where my little shooters at? Can you see him, Gray? He's behind that little bush and stuff? That's him, like, he kind of blended in, like. That black, that black ball? Shake that, shake that vine, he'll look again, guys. I saw him before I got close, and then now I can't, I mean, I know where he is. He's just in that. Mile and a half away mile from Mile and a half. Come here, son. Come here. Come you here, don't know son. how long he's been treed, Shoot, I say he had to be treed for about, what, 10, 15 minutes? Yeah. I mean, it's wide open. Coon commander. That's all I'm going to say. Really, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. you need to get you a coon strap. You know how they make the duck commanders got them duck straps? The coon commanders need some coon straps. We might need to get that worked up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> get to wear him like a rifle. Strap him on. <laughs> Pretty impressive, isn't it, Mr. Jerry? Pretty impressive. Uh, when we go around, we travel from Louisiana, Arkansas, Mississippi, wherever they have a hunt that we feel like we can make it to, and we go and show everybody what we got and try to showcase and let them know we just not doing this just for fun, that we got some of the best dogs in the nation. Uh, it's basically where dogs go and compete against each other, and you find out who, who has the best dog. You normally know, typically have a, maybe an hour hunt or a two-hour hunt, and uh, whichever dog finishes with the most uh, points, the highest score, that's the dog that wins. Maybe 12 to 15 hours of hunting a week. That's about typical, about 12 to 15. Or if we're getting ready for a big hunt, we probably hunt five hours a night, every night, till the hunt. Give them like a night off right before. They can follow us on Facebook at Coon Command Outdoors. We have a page and we also have a group and you can join both and you'll see, you can keep up with us throughout the whole week. We steady dropping videos almost every night we go hunting, almost every competition hunt we go to. Every time we win, we post them to let everybody know just uh, to keep our followers involved and uh, entertained. Mm -hmm. That's it, baby. Y'all see him take the drug out? Here, let me see. Go ahead. You know this thing? See the other you know. shell? See that gray shell? Right there. Right yeah. Right there. Yep. Spot right there. Uh-oh. Yeah, I can see it. Okay. Put another one in, Luke. Boy, come. Put some heat in him, Luke. This sucker hot. He was bunker down and all that thick stuff. I love Coon Hunt. Maybe my new favorite passion. I'm gonna see if they can let me be a member of the Coon Commander. All these other commanders are overrated. The Coon Commander, where is that? I see it now. 
Good job, big boy. Good job. Good job, son. Good job. Good job. Good job, son. Talk to him. <laughs> Just kidding something. I'm up all night. Got my, got my time clock messed up. What, what did you ask me? What we got going on? I didn't even see the pot. Just kidding. <laughs> Just kidding. I think we treat again. I didn't see him. I know y'all saw him. I never saw him. Yeah, they've already. I see him right there, isn't it? All right, I got him. Shoot. Hey, do not stop shooting until he is done. Yes, do not stop shooting until that coon is dead. So it look big. Yeah, it's two of them. Oh, yeah. Oh, that boy here roost. There's two. You told Coon Commanders, you like, we probably need to get two more. They just get two out the same tree. <laughs> 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 they like, we just go ahead and get this done. We got eight. We might as well make it ten. Might as well. How about that? Did y'all know there was two up there? No, I didn't know till I heard them get to saying it. All of a sudden, that first one hit the ground. All of a sudden, doof, another one hit. Me. Good job, y'all. Who's shooting? Who? Good job. Oh, Cooper was shooting. Cooper, you got that one, huh? Yes, sir. That's getting it done right there. Well, you should knock two of them at the same time. <laughs> what you call hey, that's my first time there. seeing that what happen. I mean, all of a sudden, that first one hit, I think, well, they got it. Then that's the getting one. it done. Good job, son. Coon Commander, giving new meaning to working like a dog. Join us here next time on Sportsman TV.